We finally found Bigfoot. Kinda. But first, a little story. When I was little, I saw Bigfoot. The Bigfoot I saw had a white winter coat and was standing on the edge of a bonfire. I was three or four years old at the time and I told my older brother about my Bigfoot sighting. The next day, he took me to the woods near where I had seen it and pointed out Bigfoot tracks. These tracks were very large indentations in some dry pine needles. My curiosity was piqued and I began plotting to capture my very own Bigfoot. As a kid, I quickly lost interest. An embarrassingly long amount of time later, I realized that the Bigfoot I had seen was my tall neighbor who was helping my dad doing some brush management with bonfires. Bigfoot's white winter coat was my neighbor's white jacket. And the footprints my brother had shown me were made by him. He denies this, but he also told me Santa was real, so I cannot trust him. The fact of the matter is, Bigfoot's not real. That's why there's 12 seasons of Finding Bigfoot. As long as they don't find Bigfoot, they get another season. Sadly, Finding Bigfoot will get season after season, because Bigfoot isn't real. But that wasn't always the case. If you found yourself in the forest of Southeast Asia about 100,000 years ago, you might come across a 10-foot-tall, 600-pound hairy ape called Gigantopithecus, which bears a shocking resemblance to Animal Planet's favorite cash cow, Bigfoot. Yes, Gigantopithecus is a tall, hairy ape, but that's where the similarities between it and Bigfoot end. Bigfoot has always been portrayed as bipedal like us, meaning they walk on two legs. Gigantopithecus almost certainly walked on all four legs like a gorilla. Because of its immense weight, Gigantopithecus would be forced to walk on all four legs because Walmart rascals had not been invented yet. In short, Gigantopithecus is the closest thing that's ever existed to Bigfoot, but it is extinct now. Gigantopithecus went extinct for the very same reason that it was so unique. To maintain its 600 pounds of mass, Gigantopithecus had to eat a great deal of fruit. The final nail of the coffin was when its environment shifted from more of a jungle environment to more of a savanna environment. In this new environment, Gigantopithecus was unable to find enough fruit to maintain its mass, and they eventually died out, being replaced by animals that could eat the roots and grains that was found in this new savanna biome. If you want to see Bigfoot's closest living relative, go to your local zoo and check out the orangutan exhibit. Those are the closest living relative to Gigantopithecus. Thanks for watching, stay curious, stay creative, have a good one.